Hey everyone! I was kind of binging through Rachel and June's videos the other day. They are a couple that live in Japan and they vlog their life. But in this specific video I watched, they went into this store that sold a bunch of like cat things, like cat towels, scarves, shirts, purses, stuff like that. But in it, for like a split second, they show these little keychains and I thought that they were super cute. They basically just look like a little cat paw and I decided I wanted to try to make one. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make a little cat paw keychain. Let's get started. You'll need leather or faux leather, heavy duty snaps, scissors, a leather hole punch, contact cement, and puffy paint. And if your leather is not finished, you'll also need to have leather dye, finish, and a burnisher. Measure 8 inches. On one end, place the snap and trace around it. From there, draw a 1 inch strip all the way to the other end. At that end with the snap, draw a paw shape. I went with the cartoony three toe look. Cut this out. Since I'm using leather, I did the extra steps of burnishing the edges. Basically, you bevel the edges and then sand them, making the edges rounded, and then use a burnishing tool to burnish it. I did a spit burnish, so I literally just used my spit and a burnisher to smooth the edges down. I'm just using my spit because it's cheaper than the alternative, gum tragacanth. You could totally use that instead, especially if you don't like the whole spit aspect of it, but I didn't want to pay for a bottle of that stuff just for the small projects that I've been doing. At this end, measure in half an inch from these sides and make a mark. From that mark, measure in another inch and make another mark. And then mark the middle of the traced snap circle on the other end. Use a leather hole punch to punch holes at these marks so they're big enough for the snap hardware to fit into. Since my leather is pretty thick, I had to thin down the end that was going to be folded over and doubled up. I just used a combination of a sharp knife and sandpaper until it was about half as thick as it was. I also cut little notches where the keyring will sit, which would be one inch in from this edge. Anyway, once that's done, if you need to, dye your leather. I wanted a black paw, but I didn't have any black leather dye, so I thought I would do a little experiment and use my black India ink, and it seemed to work pretty well. Looking back, I should have left this area ink-free since it was going to be glued together, but I didn't. So learn from my mistakes and leave that area raw. As I just mentioned, I forgot to leave this area raw, so I had to go back and sand it a little bit to make it rough again. Apply contact cement to the area. Let sit for about 15 minutes or however long the directions say, and then press together. Oh yeah. Don't forget to place the keyring before you do this. Finish it with a leather finish. I'm using Resoline. And then let it dry. Now attach the hardware. Place the snaps and use a hammer and setting tool to secure the snaps. Finally, add the little toe beans with puffy paint, let dry, and the keychain is done. All you have to do is add your keys and you're ready to go. With this keychain, you can attach it to your belt loop or backpack or wherever you feel like attaching it to. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch. And I'll leave the information to all of those down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.